Hello guys, Soft Tony here, welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video we will be diving into the creative process of crafting a visually stunning page turn slideshow. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like button to stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and if you enjoyed the content show some love by leaving a like. And without any further ado let's jump right into creating this slideshow in After Effects. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition. This is gonna be final composition. Okay, let's type here final 9020 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration instead of 10 seconds. Let's go to around 1 minute. Okay, and now let's also make uh, another composition. Hit on this little icon again. This is gonna be media 01 and instead of duration 1 minute, I will go somewhere around 10 seconds like this. Hit OK. And as you can see, I have already imported my media footage here, just drag and drop from the project window here into the new composition. And now let's make further adjustments. Now go here on this little icon, rounded rectangle tool, hold left mouse click to find this rounded rectangle tool. Also shortcut is Q and set the stroke to around 100, make sure that our fill is set to none. Okay, unselect everything here in the media 01 composition and just go double click. Okay, now open up this rectangle 01 option, go here rectangle path and for the roundness instead of 20, let's type here 120 and now as you can see we have this cool rounded shape here in the final composition. Okay, now let's add our first effect but before that let's rename this one to photo frame. Okay, go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find the facts and presets just go window and you will find effects and presets here. Okay, type here drop shadow for the first effect, drag and drop onto the photo frame, okay, and for the distance and softness let's go to around 20 and softness to around 100, and as you can see we have these cool shadows here in the scene, now let's also duplicate this drop shadow effect, hit ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate, and for the direction instead of plus 135 type here minus 90, okay, and as you can see, we have our cool shadow effect all the way here on our media 01. This is looking cool, okay. And for the next step, let's create also our text layer. Hit Ctrl plus T or go here on this little icon, horizontal type tool. I will just do easy slideshow. This is gonna be our first text, okay. Readjust it here in the composition as you wish, okay. I'm using this Bebasnoi font for the font size set up to around 160. Okay, now open up this little triangle, go to animate, find position and also let's hit here on add option, find here property and then go and find here opacity and for the position let's type here for the Y parameter 300, for the opacity set this one to 0, open up this range selector 01, go to 0 frames, set up the first keyframe for the offset option, type here minus 100, okay, now go to around 2 seconds or so and let's type here 100. Also open up this advanced option and instead of a square shape change here to ramp up and also for the ease high and ease low let's type here 66 and if you want to randomize your order of this text just turn this randomize order option on. Hit zero on your keyboard and now this is looking really cool and really awesome. Now what we can do is to duplicate this easy text, hit ctrl plus D, use arrows on your keyboard, move it below this first text. And let's rename this one to slideshow. Let's also readjust font size instead of this 160. Let's go somewhere around 80. Okay, and now this is looking cool. Also readjust it here in the finals and hit zero for the preview. And also what we can do here in the timeline, we can slightly readjust to maybe this slideshow text to go somewhere around from uh, 15 frames, hit zero again. And this is looking awesome. Now select also both text, go here in the facts and preset, find also drop shadow effect, double click and you can play around maybe distance 5 and softness to around 10 to add a little bit of shadow here for this easy and slideshow text. Hit 0 again and this is looking really awesome and really cool. Okay, now what we can do also is to add adjustment layer, go right click to create new adjustment layer, this is gonna be light sweep. Okay, go here in the facts and preset, find light sweep effect. 
drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and here basically you can play around with this light sweep okay for the edge thickness and edge intensity let's type here zero okay also hit t for this opacity of the light sweep you can play around maybe to around 50 percent you can also play around with the direction as you wish okay and this is looking cool to me our next step is to import this media 01 composition here in the final composition. I will close this effects control for now, find here this media 01 and just drag and drop here into the final composition. And here as you can see our final composition is 1 minute long and media composition is 10 seconds long. Ok, now let's add our first effect here on our media 01 comp. Let's find here of course page turn effect, ok, drag and drop onto the media 01. And here let's animate this cool effect, okay? For this first option, fold option, okay, go here at zero frames. Let's go somewhere around here, okay? Set up the first keyframe for the fold position and then go to around six or seven seconds, somewhere around here. And let's readjust this second keyframe to somewhere around here. Make sure that our media 01 can be seen here in this uh, composition preview. OK. And now hit 0 to show all of the keyframes. Grab them. Hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Go to graph editor. And if you can't see curve like this, go right click and hit here edit speed graph. Now let's also draw a curve like this. OK. And here in the finals, when we hit 0, now we have this cool animation like this. Awesome, okay, also let's animate this fold radius option, go here at zero frames, set up the first keyframe and let's type here 100 and also go to around 7 seconds and type here 500. Now hit zero again and our animation is gonna be really really cool looking. Okay, also for this uh, back opacity let's go somewhere around 100, you can also change paper color, okay. If you don't want to see this type of look, just go here back page and change here to none. This is looking cool. And let's also add drop shadow effect. Drop shadow, okay. Drag and drop below this uh, page turn effect. And here let's also play around with the distance, maybe 20. And for the softness, let's go to around 100. Hit zero again. And in our final composition, we have a cool animation of our first media 01. OK, I will close this effects control again. And now let's import another media composition here in our final scene. OK, I will hit control plus D to create this media 02 here in the project window. Let's rename this one to media 02. OK, also let's hit control plus D here in the composition. OK, move this media 01 below this first media. Select this media 02 here in the project window. Hold Alt and while you're dragging onto this media 01, OK, and just reposition this media 02 here in the final composition. OK, this is our first media and this is our second media. Now let's also replace footage from this media 02. OK, find here media, media 02 and also hold Alt while you're dragging this media 02 on top of this media 01. OK, hit zero on our finals and now we have this easy slideshow. And this is our second animation. OK, go here in Media 02, select this easy slideshow text and reposition maybe on the right side of this composition. We can type different text, I don't know, page turn slideshow, something like this. Of course, you will type your own text. OK, hit zero in the finals and our first animation is the slideshow and our second animation page turn. This is looking cool. Now it's time to create third media. Select this media 02 here in the project window. Hit control plus D again. This is gonna be media 03. Also repeat the process. Hit control plus D here. Move it below. And for this media 03, hold Alt while you're dragging on top of this media 02. And just reposition here in the timeline. And this is looking really, really cool. OK, now go here in Media 03. Let's change also this Media 02 picture or video and also hold Alt while you're dragging this Media 03 on top of this Media 02 here in this Media 03 composition. And now, as you can see, when we hit zero, we have our first media, second media and our 
third media and this is looking awesome let's also change text this is gonna be awesome second text is gonna be slideshow and you can also reposition this awesome slideshow text wherever fits to you also maybe here again on the left side and in our finals we have this first second and third slideshow all right guys this is the way so you can create many more this media four media five media six as many medias as you want to create here in the final composition you can also do opposite animation what you can also do is to change color of these photo frames if you want just hit here on this photo frame go in the facts and preset find fill effect drag and drop so you can change also the colors but i will leave this one to you okay and for the final step let's also add a few adjustment layers go right click find here new adjustment layer this is gonna be curves okay go again here in the facts and preset find curves effect okay you can also play around with the tones and contrast okay and this is looking cool maybe to darken a bit cool let's also add another adjustment layer go right click find here new adjustment layer this is gonna be color balance okay go here in the facts and preset again and find color balance effect okay drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and basically you can play around here with the contrast with shadow red balance green balance also blue play around with the options until you're satisfied with your own result what we can do also is to go to create another adjustment layer this is going to be triton in case you want black and white color find here triton drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and here for the midtones let's change to maybe this type of black color if you want to black and white contrast this is looking really really awesome and if you don't want to see this uh, black and white color just uncheck this triton effect like this okay and you can also change this midtones to whatever color you want maybe this blue one and also you can play around here with the blend with the original maybe to around 60 percent but as i already said everything is pretty much up to you all right guys uh, that was everything for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new in this tutorial I have shown you this cool technique to create this page turn slideshow and this is looking really cool and awesome also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and if you found this video helpful hit also the like button you can find all useful links down below in the description also leave me a comment down below in the comment section and until next time stay creative and bye bye